Hey guys, and welcome back to the casino level. Uh, we have just completed, of course, Las Vegas. We have landed inside Malone's casino. Now, what I like about this mission is there is loads of stuff to destroy in this mission. There's so many hidden uh, goodies on this level. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this level is also very hard. This is probably the hardest mission in the game. Um, there is an Elvis character that we can find. Uh, it did actually say in the previous level that Elvis is alive and kicking in this mission. Uh, in Las Vegas, I should say. And that's true. He is hidden away in one of the slot machines. And he will give us an unlimited supply of armor. However... How that actually works, I don't know. I think there's a cooldown on it. Because sometimes he coughs up armor really quickly. And other times he does not. I did wonder if it was a threshold thing. And we're going to destroy these. Uh, there we go. I did wonder if it's a threshold thing. If it's... Oh. Okay, I guess we can't destroy that yet. Uh, if your armor drops below a certain percentage, if he's going to um, cough up some nice armor for us. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I think it's done on time. And look, there you go. You can see we're getting shot at by extremely powerful turrets that are off camera there that we can't actually see. They can see us and they can shoot us and they can destroy us in seconds, but we can't see them. That is a the theme for this mission. This mission is really quite challenging just because you'll get Swiss cheesed by stuff that you cannot see. Uh, and actually, they can shoot you from quite far off the map. Remember in a lot of... Ah, we're in an alert zone as well. There we go. Being shot at by something we can't see. Now, we're going to destroy this if we can. Nope, we can't destroy that just yet. And... We're almost out of ammo again, but our first uh, mission is to take out Malone's pit bosses and roving spies stationed near the back of the casino. Eliminating them will make it safer to move around the area. Yeah, um, this, this bit up here is crazy. Just how many enemies there actually are uh, hidden off camera as well. Like, it's very hard to hit anything with those missiles as well. Where's Elvis? Come on, Elvis. Elvis, where are you, buddy? Oh, that's not Elvis. Yeah, he is hidden around the center of the map. I know he... Oh, God. Right, let's kill you. Look how tough these guys are, even when they're in a alert zone. They they are crazy. Ouch! Yeah, ouch. Yeah, we're, we're rapidly losing health here. So let's sneak up. This guy's got to die. He's one of the enemies that we were being warned about. Now, look on that table there. On that table there, there is a gun camera. Those gun cameras can fire at you from really far away. Uh, so far away that, yep, yeah, there you go. You cannot actually see them. But they're doing extreme amounts of damage to you. Uh, it's not good, to be honest. It's really cheap. And this mission is a huge bottleneck to your progress. Now, this is also an alert zone, which is worth mentioning. I don't know why it's an alert zone, because this is the actual mission that we're on now. Uh, I'm going to try and go back and get some health. I know Elvis is around here somewhere. He's between these two. He is in a slot machine thing. Oh, oh God. Yeah, stay clear of that. Ah, here he is. He's in one of these. So, Mr. Elvis. That's going to be ammo, I think. That's going to be ammo. And this one on the end here will be Elvis. Now, right next to Elvis, there's a pillar. Hey, buddy. Right next to Elvis, there is a pillar. On that pillar is a dude that will shoot at us repeatedly. Uh, you cannot kill this dude. I've tried. He is invincible. He's actually stuck in the uh, wall. And we can't get to him. Um, so he will continuously take pot shots. I don't know if that's a glitch or, again, some intentional way of, of upping the difficulty. Hard to tell with this game. 
All right, let's walk this fine line. There you are. There you are. Oh, man. Look at that. We are so far ooh, away, but we're still being shot at. <sighs> right. Okay. We, we actually somehow survived that. We are sandwiched between everything. Now, these cashier booths are next. Cashier booth hostages trapped inside. Yeah, uh, we are going to try and go back and get some health. Uh, as you can see, this mission does not pull any punches. And it will fuck you repeatedly until you beg for mercy. However, we're not going to be begging for mercy. Look at that. Look at that. It was tracking us, like, all the way down. It doesn't give you a chance, honestly. It's mad. If you're not nimble and quick, you're uh, dead, basically. Right, let's just continue destroying all this stuff. Now, these bags of money that we're picking up, the, I'm pretty sure these just give you points. So that makes them, wait for it, pointless, uh, sadly. There we go. Now, yeah, so we need to go up to this middle section here. Now, this cashier booth is well guarded from what I can remember, especially inside. And it contains some hostages that we need to go pull their asses out of the fire. So what have we got here? Blast the cashier booth and rescue the hostages held inside. Warning, the booth is invincible when it has a red light on top. Bust it open when the light is gone. Yeah, well, the light should be gone now. I say should, optimistically. This game has been known to bug. All right, there's the booth. We want to try and come at it from an angle. Yeah, we're hitting it now. All right, let's just light it up with a machine gun fire. There we go. Oh, we just wasted him. Oh, God. Yeah, so this area is like an alert zone for reasons, I guess. Uh, ammo is basically gone again. Let's grab these dudes. There we go. Hey, hey, friend. Swallow that, you bastard. Now, VIP high roller. She knows the location of Malone's hideout. Malone has a high roller locked in a back room. Free her from captivity. It's believed that she knows the secret entrance to Malone's hideout. Yeah. Yeah, apparently she does. Right, uh, one thing I do want to do. Let's go check on Elvis. Let's kill that dude as well. Oh, you... How did we destroy an armor repair? Yeah, Elvis has got one for us. So that's good to know. So he he is prepared. N unless you get one per mission, I guess. That could make sense, I suppose. Uh, not really sure, to be honest. Let's just keep taking these bags of money because, to be honest, we're doing a pretty bang-up job here. So, I think it's only fair that we get compensated for our mission. There we go. As long as it ain't some kind of Malone special Monopoly money or something, ah, it's probably EA Monopoly money. Only good for their microtransactions. There we go. Grab all that shit up. Yeah, so right by Elvis, there is one of these pillars. And I don't know why I'm pointing to it, because you can't see me point to it. But um, in that pillar, there is an uh, invincible dude. And again, ammo crate destroyed. How? We need to be so careful. I mean, ammo crate being destroyed doesn't really matter, I suppose. There we go. And look, there we go. There's another dude in there. I wonder... Yeah, we can actually kill him. Okay. Yeah, the one that's uh, guarding Elvis. We don't appear to be able to get a shot in at him. I don't know why. Okay. Let's waste that. Mission 3 complete. Fuck you, lad. Get out of here. And there is our high roller. That's She looks like the lady in red that we picked up from the church. Malone's hideout is a war room built under a crater in the Nevada desert. There's a shuttle car under one of these change booths there is indeed yes yeah, so now we need to go clear up these change booths which is great because uh these things suck these things are so powerful we're going to shoot them from the top 
And once you destroy these change booths, if we actually look at the uh, information, machine guns, uh, destroy the change booth gun sites, knock off the machine gun sites in the change booths around the casino. Warning, these booths are invincible when they have a red light on top. Ah, that'd be why we can destroy it earlier. But when we destroy them, there is a gun camera right underneath. And man, that will turn your ass inside out quick. So, yeah, be prepared for that. Not fun. I mean, that's not true. It is fun, but you know what I mean. It's uh, savage. So, and wow, I think we have pretty much just... Oh, hello. Oh, no, we're out of ammo. Dude. Ammo, man. Look how much ammo there is in this level. It's fucking great. Oh, Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Apparently, we've got some rockets left. Good to know, I suppose. Save one for yourself. <laughs> Save one rocket for yourself. Why not? Did we not open these up? I mean, I guess not. We're looking at them. So that kind of means that we didn't look at them opened up. So, you know. What am I even talking about anymore? I don't know. All right, let's kill these guys. Get fucked. I bet this was a hell of a casino. I imagine you just dragged off some kind of death dungeon if uh, you failed to... Uh, I don't know, if you won too much money from Malone, yeah, dragged off to some, like, suicide booth or something. But then that's what these look like, to be fair. There we go. If you can get those at... Oh, God, we need health. Yeah, if you can get those at the right angle, uh, you can... Elvis, me old mucker, have you got me some, uh, some like, good armor? Mm, Elvis. Don't play with you, boy. Come on. Give me some of that armor. Hey, Elvis, I always believed that you were alive. Uh, I'm just saying, okay, so, like, if you, there we go, if you could make with the goods, that'd be great. Yeah, you fucking rock out. I wonder who's playing. Probably playing Metallica or something. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? He's probably playing his stuff. Right, now, let's go. Although, I don't think his guitar's actually plugged in, so, doesn't sound like, unless he's got an acoustic. It doesn't sound like it's making any noise. Come on. Oh, that was bad, man. That gun was actually aiming right at us. Now, let's go have a look at Elvis again. I'm curious to see if his uh, armor's respawned for us. Uh, I can never find him either. He's rather elusive, it's got to be said. Uh, he's probably... Yeah, there he is. He's probably packing down donuts. He's like centre, really. Yeah, you can't kill him either. He is invincible. In fact, your shots just go straight through him. <gasps> I wonder if he's a ghost. He's a ghostly apparition of Elvis. Oh, that'd be interesting. Mm. Oh, hey, friend. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Right. How? 82 health left. Oh, man. Right, okay. Uh, let's... Let's go see. I wonder if Elvis has dropped us some armor. I'm really curious about this. Damn, look how quick our guns go dry. Ah, uh, look, there we go. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand how is um how it works. Whether it's uh, progress, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you watch the fail video of this game that I'm going to upload, where I actually failed on this mission, uh, it yeah, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Now I don't think there's a gun camera in this. There is not. There is the secret shuttle car. The shuttle car is apparently off. Huh. So, what's the next mission? Mm -hmm. Move to the... Right, so ride the shuttle to Malone's underground hideout. Move to the transfer zone at the secret entrance and climb into the shuttle car. This will take you to Malone's secret underground hideout. Yeah, there's something that always makes you laugh about a mission as well. Which uh, I will get into in a minute. Right. Uh, let's just... You know, I want to have a little poke up here. Because there's loads of hardcore enemies up here. And the problem with these hardcore enemies... Is they're really hard to actually, uh, you know, hit. There we go. I'm just curious to see if there's much up here at all. Like any health or something. There's lots of enemies. They look like... Yeah, they look like pit. They look like females, actually. 
which is kind of strange. Um, shooting women back back in this so, uh, it's kind of time. I would have thought that was very much frowned upon. They're very powerful as well. Jeez, they really kick your ass. Uh, we've got 20 armor left. <laughs> we've only fought uh, a couple of them. But hey, that's fine. We'll hose down any fucker that gets in our way. Jesus. Going to need a new flight suit, I think. Dude, have you seen how dented my helmet is? All right, I'm just saying, buddy. I need a new helmet, and I need one now. Uh, ammo is cool. Ammo is very cool. Uh, Elvis? Elvis, where is my damn armor? You bastard. Give me some armor. Yeah, well, I guess he's not going to give us any armor, which means we can't really go exploring upstairs anymore, which is really sucky. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. All right, well, let's get out of here. And that ends because... Oh, God. Oof. Yes. Yes, that was close. And there is our little uh, <laughs> way out of this mission. Now, notice that we're on foot. Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See what happens when we finish this. Well, you'll see what happens when we finish this in the next video. Because I'm going to leave this as its own self-contained thing. We're actually over 15 minutes, so that doesn't make me feel as bad. Right. Anyway, guys. Let's go. Oh, it's left without us. That's a little bit awkward. Radar sight's destroyed. I wonder if it says anything about finding Elvis. actually doesn't say anything about us finding Elvis, which is a little bit lame. Um, considering when we rescued him from some of the, pre some of the previous areas, uh, areas? Yeah, well, missions. It does actually say the king sighted or the king rescued or something. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.